If you do a lot of heavy planing, at some point you're probably going to trip this breaker in the front of the planer. And the more frequently you trip it, the more frequently it will trip. It just gets worn out over time. At that point, the easiest thing to do is just to swap it out with a new breaker. This is not hard at all. This is a really easy fix. All you got to do is take out a bunch of screws in the front and remove this top cover. It's just not entirely intuitive, so we're going to go through it step by step. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that your planer is unplugged. Even though the breaker is on the other side of the switch, so as long as the switch is off, the breaker is not going to get any juice. There are still other wires in there, and you don't want to take that risk. So unplug the planer, and then you're ready to go. The only tools you're going to need for this are the wrench that comes in the planer, and that's just going to be for taking off the top uh, panel. And then you need a number two Phillips screwdriver, a three millimeter and a four millimeter hex wrench, a 14 millimeter wrench, or you can just use some pliers. That's just for taking the nut off of the, the breaker right there. And of course, your replacement breaker. And I will make one recommendation up front. This looks exactly like the breaker that's inside there. And there are only two connections. So when you pull out these connections, you're going to be holding two identical looking breakers. So do yourself a favor and mark it with the month and year. And that way you know if you get confused or somebody comes in and interrupts you in the middle, you can be sure which one that you're supposed to put into the machine. First, you need to remove the top cover because there are three screws underneath here that you can't access until the cover is removed. And then grab your number two Phillips, and you got one, two, and three. There's a handy tray right here so you don't lose your stuff. As long as you have that number two Phillips handy, you can take off your material removal gauge plate. Mine only has one screw because I had to modify this for an undersized cutter head. Yours will have three. And then you remove the annoying other screw that's hidden behind it. Next, grab your 3mm hex wrench and take out these two screws in the front corners. And then switch to your 4mm and you can take off your speed adjustment lever. And then you use your 14 millimeter wrench to loosen up that nut right there. Shouldn't take much, and then you can just spin that off. And don't lose that little plate off of there. It doesn't always come off really easily. There you go. Yours might come with a replacement plate, mine did not. Well, one of them did and it was bent and one came without a plate, so I'm going to save this one. And that's it. You have now accessed your breaker. Now, before you put this in, notice that it's got a line side and a load side. Line coming from the, the power source, like your circuit panel or the electrical outlet, and the load side is going further into the planer. Easy way to not get confused, as long as you have properly marked your replacement one so that you don't get mixed up, pull off one side and then stick it in the same place, and then pull off the other side and put that over here. That way it's a one for one match and you don't get confused. Take off this nut. And just slide that right back through. Put the 
plate back on and replace the nut. You don't need to crank this down a lot, just make sure that it's on there. And now you can start to put everything back together. When you start to put your faceplate back on, you'll notice that the red lever for the material removal gauge is going to be behind the plastic. You just have to reach underneath and find the bar that, uh, that moves it and pick that up so it gets into the right place. That's it, you're back in business.